Excuse me, um, it's all about brum, 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 the Teespring's link is down below so where you can cop some of this real reactions while I'm here as well. Let me just say, there's a reaction channel. He's known by the name of Little Dame. Go and check him out. The guy is real as fuck, man. He does some funny reactions like he's a real one. Trust. Go and check out Little Dame. He's an artist as well, like he does some good tracks. So... Go and give my guy, Little Dame, some love. Christine Kelly. How you doing, darling? Anyway, T-Rev, Deep Depression, part two. We're here with the Rev Gang, Creek Squad. You all know I'm an honorary member. An honorary member of the fucking Creek Squad. Ghost Ranch, baby. I've just pulled out the headphones. But let's not take this away from this track. Damn. I listened to Deep Depression 1. That shit's deep, man. That shit's deep. As a person who suffers with depression, social anxiety. I'm all out. All about the message of trying to fix up. So let's listen to this Deep Depression Part 2. Let's see. How deep this one is. Hey, uh, I just wanted to come back and talk to you guys. Let you know more about stuff that's going on in my head. Something you might be able to relate to. You guys. I like that beat. Sounds similar to an NF beat. I like that beat. Really touch me. It's so I'm gonna give you my story. God, are you real? I need you now. now. Every day I'm struggling and I don't know how. What? I'm looking up to you for these questions, but I need you to walk down here and answer me now. Every night I go to sleep, I be praying to you. You never talk back, got me looking like a fool. I be hoping for the better, but you always bring the worst in the end. I'm the one that always gets hurt. He's talking to God. And he says he never answers him. I feel God only does show himself when you're not searching for him. You know what I mean? When you are looking for him. I think that's a case of him putting you through a test to try and find yourself as a person. You know what I mean? Anyone that does go through depression and comes out the other end of it will say that it somewhat helped them find their self as a person. Like. But yeah, I've been there wanting answers from God and not necessarily getting them. You all see the Bible there on the side of the fucking bed. I be praying to you, you never talk back, got me looking like a fool I be hoping for the better, but you always bring the worst in the end I'm the one that always gets hurt Why is my mom not hurt in the streets? People getting robbed for a little bit of weed Kids getting shot in the head Cause the daddy got a problem with someone And that's somebody rolling up with the heat Why did you leave me in the house? Watching my mom doing dope from the couch I suffer from depression, what the fuck is this about? I feel like I'm back in prison, please come take me out What's wrong, Why does everybody <sighs> Suffers with depression, feels like he's back in prison Somebody come and let him out Mental prison, believe it is a mental prison. House, watching my mom doing dope from the couch. I suffer from depression. What the fuck is this about? I feel like I'm back in prison. Please come take me out. Why does everybody gotta hurt me in my life? Why do I just wanna walk away from the mic? Why do I just wanna take this rope and hang from the ceiling and just say goodbye to my life? I don't even know if what I'm feeling is right. All I know is I'ma take this pen and write and talk about everything that I'm feeling through this mic. There ain't enough medication that can make me feel right. God, I need to talk to you because you just Please never listen. answer back. It's Have like everything I ask you give me twice as bad Where you And at? now I'm loading up this gun Feeling twice as sad oh I really God. had faith and now I lost Every ounce I had PTSD got me trapped in a crib From everything that I went through as a kid Why do I suffer from these panic attacks I just wanna get the motherfucker away from this shit Why do I suffer from these panic attacks Not long ago I think it was Over the Christmas period 
I was coming back from the shop with my little daughter and fucking I felt that panic attack come on and for anyone that's never had a panic attack for me anyway this is I was just walking and I felt my heart just race to a point where I knew if I took one more step I'd probably overexert and probably just pass out there's an overwhelming fear comes on straight away. And I had to crouch down on the floor. This is in the street. Crouch down on the floor. And ask my daughter to come close to me and hug me. Because I knew she'd calm me down. But then I could only take minuscule steps. To try and get home. In order to try and calm down. It's a horrible place. That I went through as a kid Why do I suffer from these panic attacks I just wanna get the motherfucker away from this shit I go and see the doctor and he tells me that I'm fine He prescribes me medication and just throws me to the side My whole life felt like prison when you're holding on the bars And you know that you're trapped inside I don't even know what to think I feel like That line there Prescribes me medication and just throws me to the side My whole life felt like prison when you're holding on the bars And you know that you're trapped inside my whole life felt like prison when you know you're holding on to bars but you're trapped inside. You know what I mean? His whole life felt like prison because of the depression and everything. But when he says, I've been holding on to bars, he's been holding on to lyrics which have been trapped inside. Bars, hip-hop bar. That's a, that's a fucking, that's a bar. That's a bar. I'm fine. Yeah. Prescribes me medication and just throws me to the side. My whole life felt like prison when you're holding on the bars and you know that you're trapped inside. I don't even know what to think. I feel like a boat with a hole that'll sink. I got a lot of people around me that tell me life will be good, but I don't really give a fuck what they think. Cause I'm trapped in my mind and I'll never get away. These thoughts that I have are gonna drive me in my grave. And I pray to God like every single day, but I never get a sign that he hears what I say. Do you hear me? So now I'm walking in circles about the pool to trigger. I, I feel the hurt through my body. It makes my soul shiver. I can't stand it no more. So now I'm sipping liquor. Looking at my family. Flipping around all these pictures. They don't know the hurt I'm feeling in my heart. Every time I try to get away, I walk into the dark. I'm looking for the light. And every time I get a glimpse and spark, the devil pulls me back and tells me God it's isn't very sharp. Sure. Now I'm right around town with the gun in my lap. Think about every single memory that I had. Right about my old place that I grew up in. I can see the vivid picture. Everything was bad. Oh I pulled God. up to the crib and then I hopped about the whip. I took another glimpse at the life that I've lived. I remember being right tail down as a kid. Do you know how it feels to lose all your innocence? Oh. I went past my old place and I looked at my crib. All those old memories come back from thoughts as a kid when I was held down and raped. Do you know what it feels like to have your innocence? Fucking Jesus. You can only give t Ref full and utter respect for that bar there. As a man. Admitting to being raped. Hit me up, brother. Hit me up, man. Like you said to me, I'm there if you want to talk, bro. I'm there. Set the life that I've lived. I remember being right tail down as a kid. Do you know how it feels to lose all your innocence? No. I don't really think you know, so I'm about to snap. Everything I'm speaking is the truth and it's facts. I ain't scared to share my motherfucking story because I want to help somebody stay alive when I'm laying down a rap. If I can save your life, then I'm doing something right. I want to tell everybody something about my life because maybe you relate and you need to hear this. That's why I'm right here speaking to you in the light. Man. We all struggle.
and go through things in our head and we suffer from mental issues like PTSD and deep depression, ADHD, everything mixed in all together. The combination is tearing you down, but maybe you just need to hear this, man. Somebody loves you. You can always reach out. And if you need someone and nobody's there for you, reach out to me. Reach out to Rev Gang. We got your back. Rev Gang 2020, I'm out. Thank you for listening. Jesus fucking Christ, T Rev. If that's my introduction to the T Rev and the Rev Gang, I'm here for 2020, baby. Damn. Hats fucking off. Hats fucking off to you, T Rev, for that bar. About having that horrific ordeal happen to you. Like, that's something that not many men would share and took a lot of courage. So, hats off for that. But, yeah. Damn. See, we're up. Damn. Peace out. See you in the next one, man. Take it easy, man. Excuse me, um, it's all about brum, 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 rev every five some cum. It's how we do the job and how it gets done. Brum, 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 brum. 